What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another MX Bikes video. We're out here on the Diablo MX Ranch. Just, uh, this is my first lap actually on it. Just, uh, getting some practice in, checking out a new track. Uh, first impressions. I like the way it looks, you know. Obviously, hey, I'm still on the first lap, so we're getting the flow, see how it feels. I, I like the corner so far, though. We've got a sharp one here. It actually, actually, uh, that rut held pretty well. But basically, so we've had the Road to Pro series. And we're not giving up on the Road to Pro series, not at all. We're doing like a little mini series in between. We need, you know, Road to Pro is a long term goal. And I think it's, you know, best that we we add some short term goals to try to achieve during the Road to Pro series. So today is, is kind of the first episode of the Road to First. So it's going to be kind of a series, just a bunch of races, practicing, you know, just the standard stuff you're, you're going to see, you know, in the Road to Pro anyway. But it's my, my road to getting my first one. Now, it does, there's no, doesn't have to be on any certain track or anything like that. I'm not being a stickler. I mean, be honest, I think Forest is probably going to be the one where I get it. I could be wrong. Uh, I've just spent a lot of time on Forest, so... I'm um, most comfortable there, but you know, as we get better at other tracks, the possibility may you know come up. We, I'm getting, I've been practicing, and I'm getting decent on the starts. Like I can get off the gate decently well. It's just getting in that first corner and surviving is not been well. I, I'm, I'm having struggles, I guess. First lap struggles, just mistake after mistake after mistake, and I mean. That, that type of stuff will clean up over time, just getting the experience. So, something I'm trying to... Ooh, that is not how you whip. But yeah, that will clean up over time. And, I mean, I'm already getting better at the start, so once, you know, we hone that in, and we can get off the gate, and get up there and get through the first corner, I think we'll be in a better spot. So I'm, I'm really excited for this next little series. I'm going to try to upload as much as possible. I want to grind through this. You know, things have kind of settled down for me. So I want to, you know, get back on track, get the videos coming for you guys. I appreciate anybody that's, you know, stuck around while I've been, you know, somewhat MIA. I've uploaded more, you know, a couple more videos recently. And one of them did pretty well, like over 500 views. So I appreciate that. Um, YouTube's uh, give me a little love too. <laughs> Uh, so let me let me tell you about this track. It's like for me, I'm not you know I, I threw my bike step on it. I have a basic bike setup. Um, I'm not gonna share it because I just found it on Discord. It's not really mine to share. But I am gonna start working on trying to understand how all adjustments make because you find a bike setup on Discord and it might just be a good base for you. And then you really need to know how to tweak things to you know get yourself comfortable on the bike because everybody rides different that a little bit. I really like this corner with the three options, but I don't know if I can hit it. <laughs> I feel like I need to go inside and then I can cut through here and that would be a lot faster. I'm going to land the whip. Uh, a little bit of a whip. Nice little uphill. I feel like this is a more outdoorsy track. I do want to maybe attempt to... I, I, I think I could just uh, sign up and do the qualifying event for one of the outdoor nationals for the 250. So I may do that just for fun, just to get the experience on the track with some other riders, um, just to see, you know, how insane the competition is out there. You know, we're nowhere near, you know, probably qualifying for a race. I mean, there's a decent amount of people in those races, so, you know, maybe we get a track that we get lucky, get a hot lap, and, you know, go get that experience. So I think maybe somewhere like 7 p.m. on Friday night, maybe. I was kind of looking into it. That would maybe work. I can maybe make that work. Maybe it's 6 p.m. I'm not entirely sure. Um, the 451s, I know, I'm doing it like during the day. I think it starts at like 2. And that would not work at all, which, I mean, I'm not having any concerns. I'm not trying to do 450. So if I could get in the 250s some type of pro series just to try it qualifying, I think it'd be fun. Or, you know, look for amateur series. I had to 
pick up the season pass for this year's MX. I do want to make sure I want to make sure I'm practicing Supercross at least once a month. I was getting decent in my opinion on it. I mean, for you know my skill level before I took that break, you know, take care of some things. Um, I, I was getting where I could get a you know one lap lead without crashing, which that's that's a lot on Supercross. I mean, it might not sound like a lot, but oh, I threw myself on the side there. Oh, we made that. That was a little bit better of a whip right there. Nice red I know these these fast downhills with all these bumps is something that you know I need to get used to because I believe the outdoor tracks from what I've watched on the live streams of like Troyer Lens doing their pro races. Oh, don't want to go off the track. I do need to purchase the outdoor track so I can start like practicing on you know, Fox Raceway. I think this week is going to be the one in Colorado. I can't remember off the top of my name or top of my head what the name of that was. Got to get better, you know, controlling the bike, speed. I got to get better just being around people too, which I've learned that a lot because I've done more races than I've ever done recently in the last couple weeks. Um, and I've learned that I'm just not good at avoiding people, avoiding crashes. And that's because I've never, I mean, I spent, I think I got like over 80 hours in this game and almost all of it is just running laps like this by myself. It's real easy not to run into somebody when you're just by yourself. So <laughs> uh, I think that's really going to help me out. I think it's something I was kind of missing uh, with my practice. And, Gotta be a little more smoother with the controls. That's for sure. We'll send this one. Uh, pretty decent. Didn't hit that corner as good. Nice little whip. Hit the landing. Probably scrub that a little bit better. Up that hill. I need to have learned, I guess, like, so when you take off a jump, like, picking where I want to land and, you know, hitting that face, that jump in the right spot. So I'm kind of setting myself up for the next section, I guess. Like, if I want to hit that middle line, see how I kind of, like, get myself while I'm in air, scrubbing, you know, somewhat, get myself set up for that middle line, because that will save me time right there. And I need to learn those things. So I'm just going to come with practice. But then once I, you know, learn how to do stuff like this, I need to be able to implement it with people around, staying in lines. I'm dealing with an issue, like, I think, what was it, one race last night or something? I started, I think, second, and, you know, I just got completely punted because I took my standard lines, you know. I need to be more diverse on the line choice because I picked the line everybody was going to pick, and some guy just punted me, and that's that's going to happen. I mean, it's not really, in my opinion, most, you know, nicest way to play the game, you know, if in real life, no one's punting people like that, but that's just how it is, so we gotta adapt. I got a comment saying I need to scrub more, which I know, it's just, I'm not very good at scrubbing. I mean, I don't want you to be scrubbing when I'm going all the way across that jump like that. I need to learn to control it a little better. I think I'm just like, I'm starting to scrub late or too early because sometimes I start too early and I'm kind of just jumping over the jumps, not the way it should be. And then if I'm doing it too late, I'm just not even turning. Oh, kind of messing around there. Alright, I thank you guys for uh, watching this video. I appreciate it if you clicked on it. Uh, make sure you hit that like and subscribe come along for this little mini series on the long-term goal of road to pro this is road to first so i mean hopefully you know hopefully it don't take too long but 
I'm excited. I really want to get a win. I have, I think I led a race once at Forest, but couldn't, couldn't finish it. But we'll get there. Get, uh, get more and more experience, and you know, we'll get one of those races where just everything falls into place. I am dealing with some tucked front ends lately, so I don't know if it's just complete user error or something to change the bike. But thank you guys again for watching. See you next time.